Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this from Sausage Roll. <laughs> I love kicking rolling billboard declared transphobic and taken down in Canada. Oh, Cocknada. 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 Oh, Cocknada. You never disappoint, do you? Billboard put in Vancouver, Canada, and to show support for J.K. Rowling, the Harry Potter author have been have been removed after trans rights activists declare them transphobic. Obviously, how dare you? How dare you go against the mainstream religion? How dare you? J.K. Rowling received death threats when she expressed that there is a biological difference between trans and cis women. I agree, there is. Her name is now recognized as a symbol of hate in Cocknada and the UK. And the cock. Ah, oh, cock. Kind of. <laughs> kind of worked out on the UK issue here. Uh, the 55 year old author has always, has always championed the alphabet movement. However, in the eyes of trans rights activists, a single tweet turned her from a hero to a villain. She's also responsible for. Uh, uh, for. race swapping Hermione because apparently she needed to virtue signal. Because she actually wrote her as white. And then, due to the virtual, virtual signaling, she went back and said, No, 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 she black. Even though there was nothing in the book suggesting it. It's interesting, isn't it? Uh, that's what happens when you try to pander to these people. You get what you fucking deserve. And this is more evidence of that. Oh, well, no, well, well, well. Well, well, Rowling's tweet in support for the, of a British woman who lost her livelihood after claiming that there is a clear biological difference between men and women and that, try as they might, you can completely transform. Agree. I agree with her. Maya Forstater was fired from her job at the Center for Global Development after she expressed her disapproval to British gov government proposal that would make it easier for transgender people to, have to change their legal sex in a tweet. <sighs> in response, the Alphabet community started a campaign to get Fire Maya, to get hashtag Fire Maya trending and haunted her place of employment until her employers caved. Ah, uh, mob rules. That's what happens when you go against the mainstream religion. Oh, there's more coffee. Mm. Eight star. That's what happens when you go against the mainstream religion. If you are guilty of heresy, of yes, heresy, or going against the religion of blasphemy. You will get cancelled, or killed, or maimed, or expelled from the community. I'm sorry if I'm making, I'm getting a bit confused with me, the Middle Ages, the medieval times, when they actually did that in the name of Christianity, and today in the name of intersectionality. I'm sorry if I'm getting confused. It, it, it's kind of difficult trying to separate the, both of them, really. Uh, what's the difference? I can't see the difference. How can I make it easy to different, uh, differentiate between blasphemy against, against Christianity in the Middle Ages with blasphemy against intersectionality on current year? Hmm, what's the difference? What's the difference? Hmm. I, I don't know. Can you think of a difference between tho those two? You bless him one or will you bless him the other? The punishment are the same. Can we, not, not even a tiny little bit of difference? Come on, there ought to be a difference. There's a, there ought to be a difference between the blasphemy against the mainstream religion in the Middle Ages against blasphemy against the mainstream religion in 2020. There ought to be even a tiny little difference between both of them. Okay, try as I might, I can't think of any. Back to the article then. 
Maya's tweet was removed from the platform for hateful conduct, and her account was locked for 24 hours when thousands online celebrated the woman being put being out of a job right before Christmas. Dress however you please, call yourselves wherever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who who have you. Live your best life in peace and security, Rowling tweeted. But force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real. I stand with Maya. Oh shit! That was utterly blasphemous. She blasphemed against the clergy too. <gasps> she blasphemed against the clergy. An aristocrat. Who? How intense on, uh, of all intents and purposes, it's pretty much like the other aristocrats, but she went against this specific group of aristocrats. Holy shit. And then the clergy went after her, after her. That's blasphemy. Heresy. This tweet alone was enough to warrant the complete and utter cancellation of the author of the beloved Harry Potter series. Even the Harry Potter actor himself, Daniel Radcliffe, slammed rolling for her tweet, saying that her tweets were an were an were a dangerous were a dangerous trans. It were in dangerous trans lives and even more fuel to the fire. I understand why Daniel Radcliffe had to say this, because if he didn't stand against uh, the blasphemous J.K. Rowling, he would get the pyre as well. The clergy will see to that, and he will pretty much lose everything he had. Or achieved through, uh, throughout those years. I made transgender women are, are women. Well, okay. Technically, if you go through all the transitions, you may look like a woman, but technically, f biologically, you are still not quite a woman. And that's why suicide rates for transgender people are so high. They come to the realization that no matter what, they are still not going to be 100% women. Sure. If you look like a woman, the part of the treatment is that you get to fool your brain and it works. And uh, and if you look like a woman, I'm definitely going to address you like a woman. I'm going to use your pronouns. She, her, no problem whatsoever. He, him, if you're switching from female to male, no problem into that. But no matter what you do. We are still going to have to XX or XY, and I'm not counting the the, uh, the genetic defects or like Klinefeld syndrome and other problems related to um, to chromosomal chromosomal errors and other things like that. I'm not counting those double XY, triple XY. I'm not counting those. So. Let's keep going. Uh, Radcliffe 30 uh, falsely claimed that mental illness had nothing to do with the high fatality rate of trans identifying people, but it was the right cause of privilege to see people bullying them. Not quite. It's clear that we need to do more to support transgender and non-binary people. Non-binary people doesn't exist. Not invalidate their identities and not cause for their harm. Yeah, no. Radcliffe had insinuated that J.K. Rowling's comments were somehow danger to trans lives. Radcliffe committed resulting in J.K. Rowling receiving death threats, both in person and online. And yeah, that's normal, especially if you go against the narrative in the mainstream religion. An article that was later retracted, wa retracted was posted online by The Sun that glorified and encouraged domestic violence against the author. Holy shit on a pickle. Whoa, when they published an interview with her ex husband saying that he had no regrets beating her. Holy shit on a pickle. They are, uh, look, no matter how often you disagree with someone, how much you absolutely hate somebody for his or her opinion, I don't give a shit how much. Violence is never the answer. Especially if you're doing something like this, especially, uh, Domestic violence, holy shit. Well, all violence is wrong, but in this case, it's even more high and disgusting. Look, I I'm sorry, you just... Mm -mm. Look, as much as I disagree with your desire to beat me, uh, to kill me, to cancel me, to jail me for the 
for the blasphemy and heresies that I'm spouting in this video. I don't want any harm to go th uh, to happen to you. I don't want anything, anything bad happening to you. Maybe that's that's the difference between you and me. I don't know, but definitely don't want anything bad happening to you. Funds rallied behind the author in her time of need and commissioned billboards that were placed in Vancouver, Canada, and saying, "I love J.K. Rowling." Uh, Amy Ham, who lived in, in New West. Jesus, in New Westminster and Chris Elston, a South Surrey re resident, paid Patterson Outdoors an arm of the Jim Patterson Group to put up a sign on Friday around 6.30 a.m. PT it was vandalized and taken down only two days later. Ah, Cognada. The billboards erected around Vancouver, Canada were Cognada were vandalized by younger trans right activists with paint mix with feces. Paintings with feces. Would it be racist if I said that this reminds me of monkeys flinging shit against other monkeys? Mm. The paint mix with uh, bodily fluids and eventually ordered to be taken down and destroyed after an online protest. After seeing the destruction of her billboard, Amy Ailingham sent a heartfelt message to Patterson Outdoor begging them to keep up, to keep up, 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 and protect their expression to freedom of speech. We rented a billboard from your company that states, "I heart, I heart J.K. Rowling. We did this because we were inspired by Rowling standing up for rights of women, girls, and children. J.K. Rowling is not transphobic, neither are we." I agree. Like her, we are concerned about the impact of gender identity ideology on the rights of women and girls. I agree. Especially because these people want, for instance, put transgender women to play on sports by, in with, uh, on the category that women play. They want them to fight against women, to play against women. Look, it doesn't matter how, how well you went through the to the gender transition or how late you went it doesn't matter you still have the physiology of a male and you still have a physical advantage over them no matter what chances are at least in higher percentage not 100 percent but still very very high percentage that you beat women or win in whatever sports that you fight or go against you in win easily it's because of how physically men are different to women. Look, we are bigger, we have more muscles. Like I've shown this in the previous video, we have more muscles here in our jaws, here on those skull. Here we have a hook, while women don't have that hook here in this, in the back of your neck. We all have those things. We have, we have more. Uh, our bones are larger. We have um, our muscular mass is different. For instance, our hips are different, and all those things. It shows because we were supposed to be hunters. We used even our jaws as a third hand to carry weapons and other tools. Meanwhile, women would stay back to take care of the offspring. And this shows in the evolutionary traits we have today. Uh, th th there's no way we can actually change this. That's how anthropologists go when you fuck that die. For instance, let's suppose the trans woman dies. And then let's give it 100 years. And then an anthropologist or an archaeologist comes, comes around and finds the grave of that trans woman. What do you think will happen when they identify that person? They are going to label that trans woman as a male. Why? Because of all the skeleton. The skeleton, for instance, the skull, even the old note. Oh, look, this one may have gone through a surgery to look more feminine because they'll try to, um, uh, to file away certain things. We have no skull, for instance, this part of the bone. But overall, if they haven't gone through that, um, well, even if they did, you, you can still see in the bone itself, defiling away of those protuberances of the skull. 
Uh, they'll go there. Look, this was mail. They're gonna label in the paper. Mail. You even go in further and identify the race of that skeleton. If they, uh, depending on the size, on the format of the of the ocular areas over here, or or the or the seals you see here on the on the skull, connecting, protecting the brain. All those things you um, and the nose format, etc. If it's a, a oval shape or triangular, etc., they'll go mark there. Look, that individual was what? Let's see, uh, a white male, and I suppose another trans woman in there, black or African descent, male. That's all those things they are going to note on a paper. There's not much you can do about it, and that's why we have an advantage in sports as well, because of, uh, of how our body is built. That's why we have different categories, and male and female don't actually actively f uh, compete against each other, because we would simply beat women and make them... Um, for instance, uh, in a fight, uh, that would be uh, you practically would beat them to near death. And that has happened before. Anyway, uh, Billboard was vandalized the first night, and I know many are contacting Patterson Outdoor to have it removed. We asked them to stand up with us, uh, stand with women, and stand for free expression. Sadly, her message was ignored, and Patterson Outdoor agreed the message displayed in the billboards were propagating hate and transphobia after trans rights activists complained on social media or that the billboards be taken down. Even the Cook, uh, Canadian, Cook Canadian Broadcast Corporation declared the allow of J.K. Rowling billboards to be extremely controversial. Uh, J.K. Rowling highly anticipated sequel to the Harry Potter prequel Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts 3 will start filming in February 2021 and is expected to be, to be uh, to hit the cinemas mid 2022. Jesus, Shauna, you need some spelling here. Some spelling correction here, and they only did apparently with one, one, um, one complaint. They buckled like, like cheap twigs. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Good night.